Hello everyone and welcome to the 2023 Chainhawk Open Skins Match. We're at the Northside Park in Gainesville, Florida. Nine holes of action and we've got some teams. Holly Finley along with Noah Fiveash, Deanne and AJ Carey. Also Sarah Holcomb and Gavin Rathbun be teamed up. And then Jessica Weiss and Double G. They will be playing Skins alternate shot and we're also going to have the FPOs teeing on the even numbered holes while the MPO players will tee on the odd numbered holes and then they will play alternate shot skins format so if you win the hole outright it's $200 in your pocket and of course it carries over on any pushes and have a couple CTPs in the action as well those will be on holes three and eight as we see a Noah five ash kick things off Noah will push to the left side. AJ Carey's going to be in a very similar area. Pretty big bounce. Previous Cho champion, of course, in Gavin Rathbun. You've seen that on my channel, I'm sure. Pull one of par four. Relatively straightforward. There's OB on the right side. Double G will push off to the left. All right. Planning. What is it today here? Oh, I was just saying, um, you know, the Velcro on my grip bag is snagging my sweater, and this is my Christmas sweater, so I'm trying to fix the Velcro at the moment. Haven't game planned yet. Can't even remember the second shot. I like to say my favorite saying, we'll see when we get there. All right. Not often do you have to worry about the Velcro messing up your Christmas sweater from your golf bag, but when you're at the show, I guess anything goes. I'm his mom, shut up. <laughs> Some challenges here. We, got, we do have three couples that are teamed up, and then Sarah Hokum, not <laughs> romantically involved with Gavin Rathbun. She made the joke, though, that she's old enough to be his mom. Holly clips the tree, but it looks like it should fight forward. That's going to come up short. Trash talking was encouraged leading into the round. We'll see how much it plays out. Maybe that's for me, just me on commentary. Can I talk some trash? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Here we go. AJ from way downtown. Well, that's going to relieve a little bit of pressure, possibly. <laughs> Saying that area should be OB on the left side in the future. Noah trying to now push. Each hole worth 200 skin, or $200, excuse me. Hey, it's all good, it's all good. Lay up on the first hole. From a knee, Gavin buries it. A solid putt that will not put any pressure on Double G stepping up just for a little practice. Get warmed up. But we have a push on the first hole. $200 will carry into our second hole where we're going to see a little bit of a safari hole. Hole number two is playing from two's short tee to three's basket. And our FPO division will be teeing off here. That's good position. The basket's kind of just straight out. I don't know, about 700 feet straight ahead. It's really about the positioning here more than anything. Not too punishing. That should work out just fine for Holcomb. Here's Weiss. Did it hit something? Yeah. Kind of in a similar spot to where we'll find Holcomb. And then the groups will alternate. So. Holly and Noah went first. They now are going last, and they'll continue to go through that order throughout the entire I'm gonna day. Go rock three. Yeah, I'm going to throw a hyzer and let it stand up. Yeah. Yeah. 
Marked at about 340. Double G says he's going rock three to stand it up. There is OB just short of where he landed. He cleared it, but there is marked OB there. That's going to leave him maybe 25 or 30. Gavin with a fairway pushes left side just outside of the circle. Definitely give an A for effort in seeing Finley and Five Ash wearing the matching Christmas sweaters. Same theme between the uh, the carry combo, kind of that 1990s Saved by the Bell action. I love it. And that will be short and mildly obstructed. Welcome to act first from circle two. Deanne Carey, birdie luck. Oh, and she gets the jumper. And Noah's is gonna be right next to the basket, so somebody needed to step up and possibly push. Noah is the white one there, so short range for Finley. Uh, Jessica is off the top, so right now, the skins would be in favor of the carries, but we see very short range and not a problem. So another birdie to push, and 400 will carry into hole number three, which is a CTP for the men's division. It'd be cooler if it was an eagle, but it's not. I apologize, I don't know exactly what this set is. Oh, it was. <laughs> it's off of, off of fairway, that's what it is. Again, $200 for the CTP of the four men here. Double G. Did you actually throw it? Flip it, baby. Okay, double G circles edge. Noah pushes left side. That's going to be a long one. AJ steps up. Looking for all three skins and a CTP. Uh, let's see what he has to say about that. AJ feeling a little extra pressure going last, going after that CTP there? Uh, no, I actually felt less pressure because they all threw it pretty bad. And I, I thought I'd like hurt, like cured it, but so close. Great so. kicks. Yeah, it was all in my hands there. You know, park it, you win the CTP, probably the skin. So, I like it. Feed on the pressure. Well, we'll see as we get up there. Tough to tell who actually is closest as Hokum oh. trying to give it a bid. Holly from long oh. range, just short. <laughs> Deanne with a chance. Oh, and she's off the top. So closest to the pin is going to go to double G. And with that, Weiss has a chance at 600 and the CTP. Doesn't get it there. So they'll have to settle for just the CTP and all three skins right now. Looking like a push. Gavin getting the putting practice in. And that will be a push through three. Chris Clark is our TD, fearless leader. I think he's ready to give away some money. All right, we are, uh, that was another push, right? So we got four skins on the line. Now I said the word. Uh -huh. We got this many. Uh, $800 is gonna be on the line, but $200 for the CTP to double G. Thank you. Woo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We take it. All 
right on the board. And Weiss and Double G will have their chance now to build upon that. Jessica going with the Annie route, good distance. Eventually fades out to the left side though. This just about pushes the limits, I think, of what we see for long drives from our FPO competitors. Maybe they can get themselves close enough to give their partner a look. That one was low from Finley. The end going roller. Ooh, go roller. Roller. Stands up a little too quickly, so that's going to be short and right. But still wide open. A chance for AJ to give it a run. Not quite enough flip up on that one for Hokum. That was nice. The wall drive. Hey, Rico loves Rico and me. We're like boys, you know, with our putt style. I think. <laughs> uh, yeah, they both wobble. I think they they do so differently. Uh, and Gavin, not with the best effort there. They're not exactly parked by any means. Now we've got AJ trying to go after the $800 to rein in a long one. And now Double G has an opportunity here for him to clean up all four of the skins that are available. Can they get to 1,000? No. No. The answer is no, and we will likely see a push. Although no one's parked to challenge. And, well, the end carry's going to take care of that. A little bit of a tester. And the second one is in, which means we have a pair of Pars. That's why we're not playing. Um, and it will push. <laughs> Jessica. Yeah. Go through the routines and the motion. Gets that one to dribble in. Doesn't matter because it's already going to push. Does seem like a good time for some double G jerky, doesn't it? All right, they're through four of them. This is for $1,000. And this is a combo hole, so although you see the red basket directly in front, that's a different permanent hole. We're playing actually to the next basket, so this is a safari hole as well. Wrangler, baby. And that will be out in the open in good position. The basket is just short of the, that bathroom pavilion you see off in the distance. Short of that by about 30 feet or so, maybe 35. Everyone in disbelief of Gavin's route. That is just crushed. Let's see what Gavin thinks about the rowdy tuck. Just about that route that you really had lined up. Oh, yeah, I mean, aim small, miss small, I guess, you know? I think that's the strategy behind it. Yeah, it was bad, Terry. Don't set me up for failure. Really? I mean, good shot. I'm not setting anybody up for failure. I mean, he's just out there smashing on that one. Out of position on the right side at this point, we're going to need a throw in from Noah to get the three. That would be from long range. And the other three are in great position. Can anybody maybe make something happen for a thousand bucks? Yep, nice shot. Nice. Deanne's going to come up 25, maybe 28 short, saying she didn't want to test the ceiling. There is one branch that kind of hangs down or across, I should say. Oh, well, okay. Sarah's found it right there for you. Thanks for illustrating my point there, Sarah. 
So a damn 25 short. Jessica, potentially a green light to give us a bit. Just a standstill forehand. Oh, and just barely misses bringing it up. So we have a park job by Jessica. Deanne's at 25. Holly left Noah here out in, I don't know, oh. Orlando. Oh. I don't even know how it gets there. I don't even know how it gets there. I really don't. I don't even know how the disc gets there. Gavin can force the issue here, make sure somebody makes their short range putts and that is not drawing any metal. So that leaves it up to these two. AJ, 25, maybe 27 feet. And Double G has pretty much a slam dunk there. $1,000. All right. <laughs> And with the exception of the Double G and Jessica camp, everyone else is ecstatic about him making that. That was a $1,000 push right there. I haven't made it yet. All right, Double G with the formality. And we push again through five holes, $1,000. We'll carry over to the next one. We're at 1200 bucks. No safari action, but this one's kind of tough to see as it gets tucked into some of the trees. Oh, that's a beautiful line by Holcomb. Needed more distance, but that's the line you're looking for. $1,200 on the line for this hole. Double G, you know, in, a, in some ways has the advantage here. He could get aggressive thinking there's likely either a birdie to or some easy threes that are coming. So he could kind of force the issue and get a little cheeky from out there if he wanted to. Oh. Noah Go. somehow gets that to turn late around the tree. That'll be a tap in. Should be an easy three. AJ here, this is green light all day. The only mistake here is to come up short. And he doesn't. So a bid by AJ. Now for $1,200, Gavin has a look. Online. Oh, and just passed. Gavin just barely up and right of the pin. So Weiss doesn't walk away with the par. That's gonna mean two out of the next three have to go in. What? <laughs> Noah says that's what we needed. So we're gonna make sure we have a, a legit stance. Noah, of course, more invested in this than anyone because he's next to the basket. They have a tap in. $1,200 on the line. We always say when real money gets involved, we're going to see the etiquette in disc golf be any different. You hear some ribbing and some trash talking. It's a drop, and it looks like we're gonna push. Uh, I need you to push the like button 
maybe subscribe, share, all that stuff. I'm doing some cool stuff. If you're a Patreon supporter, when I hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to go back two months from that spot. And if you were a Patreon supporter at that point or yeah, earlier, kinda. you're going to get a free disc sent to you. Like, it's Did that I easy. No, it doesn't look like that. <laughs> also, we got a giveaway. Of course, it's going to have to be double G themed. Stick it. Double G it. will be yeah, left be. of the pin. Right, good boy. It's going to be about 30 feet. The pin's directly in line with the trees from where I was just pointing. So tell me in the comments if you like the doubles skins match in the format we're going with here. I know it's not over yet, but tell me if you like how this is going play. down, Gotta seeing the here. alternate shot, alternate tees, doubles, all that other stuff. That's what you need to tell me in the comments. And if not, what format would you prefer to see? That will make you eligible to win some double G action from me and my channel. So we've got Patreon support and we've got double G giveaway all in one here. Hokum. Tries to get aggressive with it. Deanne would love to bury this to put pressure on the others and she doesn't. She comes up short. That's going to leave Jessica Weiss next with a chance. Just about circle's edge. For birdie. Oh, and buries it. Weiss in for the birdie. That's going to force Holly Finley to make this putt. She needs it to push. And off the front. That's going to be a par. And seven holes in. Our skins are finally awarded. Chris, to take it away. All right, all right. After seven holes, we finally got a winner. Uh, the team of uh, Weiss and Gerthy and Tilly, $1,400. Woo, let's go, let's like go. It, let's go. Thank, Thank you, you, Chris. Thank you. Yes, what? Right, so this is a $1,400, the seven skins. Double G has the one CTP, and Jessica going after a CTP here. This is the FPO CTP. Now, you see that basket. That's not the basket they're playing to. It just happens to line up perfectly with the basket they're playing to. Well, okay, not near that tree. <laughs> but the basket they're playing to is considerably shorter of there, but it's in that exact line. Remember, this hole is sub 300 feet. I've never seen someone go that route. I love it, but she gets hung up. So right now, Jessica sitting with CTP. That's also going to be really close. Jessica, I believe, aced this just a few days ago in practice. <laughs> Not the reaction that Noah was looking for with the forehand. And as we walk up to the pin, it actually is close between Weiss and Hokum. But first, Finley. That's going to be for the par. Pars aren't going to matter too much here. <laughs> yeah, if you would have made that on the last one. <laughs> uh, Weiss and Gerthy would be sitting with a lot less money. So actually, looks like Hokum's going to get on the board because Jessica and Garrett are out. So they're in for the birdie. But Hokum, closer. Hope you did all that math with me. Gavin taps in. So they push, but Hokum is going to pick up some CTP action. If you need to ship this, I know a guy. So uh, that was a push, so there's going to be two skins on the line. But taking the CTP, Sarah Hogan. Woo! Let's go. No donut. Go. No donut. And she said no donuts. Not getting shot out. 200 bucks goes to Hulkum and Rathbun. Come on, Sandy. 
Now, this being the ninth hole, there's two skins that are on the line, hole eight plus this one. It was said to the group, as we see this great roller, before they started, they said if any skins carry over after the ninth hole, to move on to the next hole or any additional holes, you have to be part of the push. So there is some strategy that may unfold here because it just pushing isn't good enough for you to move on to the next hole if you're not involved in the push. That's a slight variation of straight up skins rules. And it makes sense, otherwise skins action like this could go on for days. Stupid palmetto earlier. That'll give you a nice shot. So if you want to move on, if there's extra holes, you have to be part of the push. And double G taking a route no one ever takes. There's a Mando off to the right side, so you can't go too far wide right. But he's taking everything out of play, trying to take the shortcut. And he'll be closest to the pin with that. So carries at best looking at a par. Can a birdie take the last two skins? Hokum not playing for birdie apparently though. She comes up short. Finley, can she get a share of it? Looks to be playing for par. Now, Weiss can throw this in to clear out the skins. Oh, but they talked about laying up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and then Raz and her fiance saying you better not miss it. So there's three basically close. And now Carey, all right, he's in. That's going to be a birdie and he'll be into the next Whoa, round. Gavin needs this for him and Holcomb to continue on. Dead center, never a doubt. So at least two are punching their ticket. The other two have pretty close tap-ins here. So with $400 on the line, they move on to the next hole and the rules continue. If you're not part of the push on the next hole, you don't go carry on to the next hole after that. If it's not one outright, that is, then you have to be part of the push. Deanne, 315 feet or so. That one stands up and carries right. No one's certain until, well, yeah, it doesn't come back. It's out of bounds. Questionable for a moment. Oh, and this is going to be pushing toward the OB line. Not certain. The rest of the weekend we'll have a spotter up there, but we weren't planning on playing this in the skins. So that's going to be close. Weiss. Oh, looks like she's put too much on it. She's out of bounds. Wow, two OBs and one questionable. Finley. Low line drive, coming in a little short. Gets the skip up and just past the pin. She's six feet away. What a shot. Yes. Oh, and we walk up and Hokum is in bounds. So although, <laughs> although Finley is parked, maybe she's eight or 10 feet, but this gives Gavin a chance. Gavin needs this for the birdie and to carry on. Oh, and Rathbun not able to convert. Just practice. Oh, yeah, so the other two are out of bounds. Come on, man, that's harsh. That's harsh. Double G wants to get his practice putt for circle three in. So this is meaningless. The three does him no good. Oh. Uh, maybe it could. Bulldog. And yeah, they're gonna make him putt Something as they grab. should. Four hundred bucks on the line and to end the day. 
Gavin's in for the three. Good job, bud. Actually, Sarah would have to pot. No pressure. But for $400, yeah. Noah Fiveash and Holly Come Finley. Taking the last skins. Close it out. Come here, baby. No it was you. Out. It was no. your turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She got it. Beautiful That's shot good. by Finley. Yeah, yeah. She put it so, so $400 close to Noah for the pair. Drive. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you all for playing. They could get new ugly sweaters. Let's go. Coke no adorbs. Is that it? It's over? It's over. That's all the money I got. <laughs> That's it, Holly. That is your Chainhawk Open Skins match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, share, subscribe, do all the YouTube things. Tell me if you like the format. Maybe support me via Patreon. And then stick around all weekend long. Rounds one, two, and three will be right here on my channel. MPO, feature and lead cards. We'll see you all weekend long from Gainesville. I'm the Disc Golf Guy, and we'll catch you tomorrow.